All right, for the final topic in this course, let's see how to deploy a Next.js application. For this demo, I will be using GitHub and Vercel. Vercel is a platform by the Next.js team that lets you seamlessly deploy Next.js applications. Step one, ensure your code is pushed to GitHub. As you can see, I already have a repo created, which is the same repo I've used for the entire series, Next.js 15 tutorials. We have a couple of applications in here and we will deploy the authentication demo app we have recently worked on. Step two, head over to Vercel.com and sign up if you're new to Vercel. I am going to log in with GitHub. Once you're logged in, add a new project. If you're doing this for the first time, you will need to install Vercel when prompted. I'm going to select my GitHub account, which is already linked. Our code is in the Next.js 15 tutorials repo, which I'm going to import. For Vercel team, I'm going to select my personal account and choose the framework preset as Next.js. For the root directory, we're going to click on edit and select authentication demo. Continue. We can leave the build and output settings as they are, but expand the environment variable section to enter the key value pairs from your project. Our project has four environment variables. Select all, copy, and paste. Vercel automatically creates the four environment variables with the values. Finally, click on deploy. This will take a minute to build and deploy your application. Once the process completes, we should have a preview of the application. Clicking on it will take us to our application hosted on a Vercel URL. Next.js 15 tutorials.vercel.app. Sign in with the test account credentials. And our application works as expected. Now, if you have a custom domain, you can of course point this app to that domain. But as far as a simple build and deploy with GitHub and Vercel is concerned, this is all you have to do. Very, very straightforward. Well, with that, we come to the end of this course on Next.js. I hope you have a much better understanding of the concepts now than you did before starting. If you enjoyed the course and found it helpful, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel as it helps out a lot. Share this course with your friends or teammates and hopefully they start using this amazing framework as well. As always, thank you for watching and until next time, take care. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe. It helps a lot.